right guys for today's vlog i might i might wake up a little late for today's vlog don't ask why let's go i'm never drinking again but i know what i'm doing i'm drinking my enemies tears today at locals baby let's go new doc new me let's go New deck, new me, you already know what it is. Also, yeah, same me by being hungover as fuck. We're playing a deck, no thinking required. Knock, I'm getting my revenge. I just edited the video, I look back. Bro, you beat me in like two minutes. I know. What do you mean you know? Bro, I, I, I remember. <laughs> That's fair, you were there. Yeah. <laughs> you dueled. <laughs> You're Florian. Macedonia. Yo, Yo Albania. It's gonna win. Macedonia's gonna win. All you Italians watching, I hope you enjoy Dennis Nag Macedonia Seraya. Enjoy your trip back. See you later. Portugal, you're next. Let's go. Ryan, we get our, our rematch today. Yeah, sure. Let's go. One of you guys are gonna win today. I just get this feeling. What's me? What's me? Yeah, you're gonna win the last place award. <laughs> Let's go. Is that is that world champion Ryan? You? Oh, you know you're winning today, right? I, I believe in you. Yeah, bro. Last time you gave me a motivational speech. You said go get him, Tiger. Yeah. So this time I give you a motivational speech. No one is gonna come in your path today. They're gonna come in your path, they're gonna take Alistair, and you're gonna shove it so down to their throat that they're never gonna play Yu-Gi-Oh again. Let's go. Yo, Ray, you have my $10 ready? Me and Ray have this bet going on that for the next 25 games at locals, and we, we, we track every win, every locals, I'm gonna win 20, I'm gonna go 20 wins plus. And if I win, he's gonna give me a signed $10 bill, and if I lose, I gotta give him a ten dollar signed bill. Last time we had this bet, it was if it was if Sosa could talk to girls. I bet on Sosa. Ray is ten dollars richer. This time, I will be ten dollars richer because we will go twenty and five, but most likely twenty five and zero. Let's go. I'm a win. I'm gonna finish first, second, and third. I also need some food. I'm hungry. I'll just eat my opponent's boards for breakfast. First round's about to start. Let's get this. Two matches in a row. Both went well. Like the deck performed admirably as it was supposed to. One big issue I'm seeing with this deck is time. So it takes a while to play this deck. And both games have gone into time. It's also probably I just started playing the deck. Uh, we'll keep this in mind. We'll keep going. Overall, I think the deck's fucking amazing, boys. I'm telling you guys, uh, it's really good. Next round's up right now. Uh, we'll do more like random stuff. I gotta go get food after. Yo, Jay, bring that ass! Right here, bro. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Ready to play? Yeah. Are you gonna beat me? A new rival of yours. Yeah. New yeah. rival of yours! Ah, let's go! Let's go, boys. We gotta win this. We gotta win this. Let's go. Locals is back. Let's go. Sadly, my first two duels combined for one and a half hours. And for some reason, it just would not upload. But they were two awesome matches. We ended up being 1 1. Uh, they were both one into time. We could have been too old, but it is what it is. Now he's gonna witness the new deck. That's right, baby. We're playing a new deck today. New deck. Don't worry, guys. Pendulum's still best deck, but I do want to switch it up and play different decks every now and then. What I will not switch up, however, is not playing on the beautiful Performer Pal and Edledge playmats, baby. So get yours right now at TrifferGaming.com while supplies last. They're absolutely the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. This deck is insane. Like, we're, we're putting up set four with Scythe and dpe and there's just really no answer here because we just have so many interruptions and he's gonna attempt to, to stop us but that's just not gonna stop us baby we're too good our hand is oh man i love this deck bro the reason i love this deck is that you have the capability of playing multiple hand traps and something else you have the capability of doing is uh, having the, the absolute most insane follow-up like right now in our graveyard we have dpe we have draw two with celestia we have special summon with dasher Oh my, you see how that graveyard fans out? That's the beauty of the, these playmats. These cloth playmats, bro, you could find out a whole 60 card deck, which is what we're playing. And look at every single card in your deck. I and mean, it's really a beautiful feeling to be playing on these cloth mats. And uh, yeah, anyways, uh, we're going to a special Ghost Ogre out here with the, the effect of Dasher. We just want to free the cards in our hand so we're able to uh, draw two later on. We're going to go Nightmare Cerberus. We're going to do a big brain play here. We Nightmare Cerberus to pop the Maximus. We know he has Florida Lee and he has Punishment set, but he's not actually able to punish him because of Cerberus' effect on Phoenix. This is why in this deck, I highly advise that you play Cerberus. It's truly insane. And then here, we're just going to Souls. I'm freeing my access code for later because I still know he has a Florida Lee in his hand. We're going to set up Needle 5. He's like, yeah, yeah, I can't win that, obviously. Like, when we go first and have that set up, it's just too unbreakable. And I love it because even if you get stopped by opponent's hand traps, you still have a fuck ton of hand traps for your opponent. So that's a beautiful thing. Let's go. Teaching all these trip tricks like Nightmare Phoenix and Cerberus not being able to destroy by effects on the patreon so make sure to check out the patreon down below guys there's no more streamings we are just focused on locals patreon and playmats that's it baby just the that's the holy trinity let's go 
I need to get myself some more Trift tokens, though. You see, I'll see those Ogdodic tokens. At least some ass. We need some better tokens. Uh, here, he, my opponent bricks. He sets two. And a brick is not going to be able to do good against the full uh, brave, uh, uh, brave hand here. Because I'm going to be able to po uh, balance that out. I special souls before I even summon Griffin in case that's droplets. And I want to, I want him to imperm the souls. I'm trying to get that card out of there. And it was imperm. I don't want my Griffin to be imperm because it has to stop Nibiru. And see, he had Nibiru. What a fucking five head play to keep Griffin in my hand. Uh, we stopped imperm Nibiru and whatever hand trap he had in his hand uh, that he got. And then it's just going to be game. I'm trying to put bait around one more hand trap. That's not enough. Pen best deck. Uh, Cyber Cell, the second best deck. Let's go, baby. We're 2 1 right now. Let's go. Just got some trauma fries from Pita Light. Love that place. Now we're going to go get some Gatorade. Uh, yeah. As you guys saw, we won the last round. We were 2 1. The deck's fucking amazing, man. It's just so good. Like, I completely attest our round one loss to Ryan, you. Literally, it was to time. Ryan played great. You know, everyone played great in our matches. But it was very winnable. But time is a huge factor with this deck. Uh, we, I have to keep that in mind. And it's, you know, as when you play locals with any of your decks, that's how you basically learn all the little ins and outs of stuff that's important. What cards are going to be added? Do I need to add a Linga Rebo? Do I need to add this? Do I need to add that? How to play differently depending on stuff? It's one thing to play in Dueling Book. It's one thing to play in tournaments. Completely different. So highly, highly recommend when you play this deck, play fast as fuck, boys. The deck's insane. I'm telling you guys, the deck's wildly good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get some G-Sauce and then maybe a little snack or something. I'm going to play cube with the boys later, so it's going to be sick. 2-1, there's two more rounds. Uh, I made a promise to Ray. I told him I'm going to win 20. I'm going to go 20 and 5 in my next 25 games. Cannot start off on a bad note to go to L, so no way. Let's go. Let's get some G-Sauce and clap everyone else up. My friend invited me to a strip club tonight. I do not want to go. Instead, I want to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I've literally turned into one of you guys. Fucking beautiful Gatorade. Best Gatorade. No cap. We'll make our decision. Maybe we'll bring you guys to the strip club too. Yo, boys. How's the training going? Uh, chilling. What's your record? Uh, X1. I just won X1. X1? X1. 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 We are 2 and one so far. We need to win this game so we can end up being 3-1. And we're facing off the mirror match here, except my boy Victor, he's playing a very big trap build. So he's playing a Elish, but with a bunch of traps. He doesn't have the Brave engine, and he's playing a minor Cybers engine as well. So we're going to have to play around a fuck ton of traps, and they are he some heavy traps. Oh, he has trauma fries. They were absolutely delicious. So here he brings up DP, he pops LM the end phase build to get his Scarlet uh, rotation going. I summon out a Souls to try and bait him to, to popping the Souls. He allows that to resolve. I just go for one. I don't want to get hit with a strike or something and lose two cards in my hand. I go right of Aramisir. Set up Journey of Destiny. Uh, what was it? You know, Fateful Adventure or some shit like that. But uh, anyways, here we set normal summon Ghost. We're going to trigger that. He decides to Kong Scarlet. This all is according to plan so far. I do a big rain play to go Needle Fiber. I will literally want him to I want him to use his cards ASAP. Uh, I'm just like, hurry up, dude. Like, use your interruptions. I want my opponent to use his interruptions. So we know what we're going to have to do to stop him. Uh, here, I go into Dark with those. Because now if we pop Dark, we get a follow-up. I special out Celestial. Uh, he's being very patient with his DPE. I go Dagda Fusion Destiny. He calls D Barrier. Oh my god, that was huge. Very big, very, very big play there. And then uh, I'm going to have to pass to him. He ends up popping the Dagda. He's going to set up Ice Prison on the end phase. He's not able to Ice Prison because he already summoned a card th that turn earlier. Uh, he's trying to calculate for game here. And uh, he's going to put up Monster. He, he wants to go for game. Uh, I, I have the one card that, that was the Scythe. Uh, uh, that's not going to matter too much here. He summons a gadget. I recognize, yeah, that, that's going to be game, which is all good. We lose game one here, and uh, there's nothing we can do there. Uh, the deep barrier infusion was too massive, so we're going to go into game number two, and that's okay. That's okay, man. The, re the one thing I love about this deck is that it plays around cards well, and if you lose one game, it doesn't matter. The other two are going to be in your favor. Uh, we, we have lost, I think, every single dice roll so far today, I think, except for the last game that you guys saw, but that's all right. It doesn't matter. Here we set up the, the proper DPE with... L land. Oh, the beauty of, of DP L land is once L land resolves, you can use DP to pop your one land to still get a card at the end phase. Uh, I believe I hard. Yeah, so I, I popped those at the end phase to set them up. I set two. He goes super poly on the draw phase. I'm like, fuck. But that's all right. That They caught us off guard, but that, that's fine. Uh, he's going to play, uh, play it safe here. He sets three under Starving Venom. I'm like, all right, this is all good. We're going to draw. I'm looking at everything. I special Valor. Uh, Scythe comes out at the draw uh, at the end phase. Valor comes out uh, by Dasher's effect. And here I'm going to go into Needle Fiber. I think Needle Fiber just forces an interruption. So I'm trying, so I'm trying, to, I'm trying to bait him at the moment. I normal summon Thought Scraper. 
I'm trying to bait him. I go Nightmare Phoenix. I want to discard these little by little. Uh, so yeah, two Scarlets after all. That's fine. And I had to get the Golden Lord out of my hand because my Scarlet cannot summon because I hard drew the Golden Lord, uh, which is very unfortunate. So, but it's fine. He ends up using Conk and I go Cosmic Cyclone on the Conk. I've been saving the Cosmic in my hand. I did not set it. I go Nightmare Cerberus to pop that. And none of my cards can be destroyed because of Nightmare Effects. I draw into a Cosmic, get rid of the last one I don't know. Access Code. I'm going to pop both stuff. Golden Lord. And I'm going to attack for game. Now we're going on to game number three over here. Yeah, Y'all see that play? Bro, Nightmare Phoenix and Nightmare, Nightmare Cerberus together is so fucking dirty, bro. They cannot be destroyed by effects when done together. It guarantees your draw. Actually, absolutely beautiful. I'm telling you guys, Patreon, yo, non-Patreon members are missing out, baby. Y'all got to sign up now. And if you don't want to sign up, that's all good. Look at the playmats, baby. Uh, I'm telling you, the playmats are the, the reason why why pen best deck and why this is the second best deck. We special out oh, Griffin. We normal. Uh, he goes set five. Set five scary, bro. He's set five. He goes skill drain. I'm like, fuck. All right, skill drain. So we don't draw, but our card still comes out. I'm going to put up uh, these. I'm going to try and attack for as much as possible. He has 7,000. So I attack for as much as possible. Uh, well, Fusion Destiny first. Uh, so I do as much as possible damage as possible because he's already got 7,000. I can access code for cost, pop skill drain at any time. So, uh, but skill drain hurts him as well. So uh, we're both playing a small, he has a massive outlet package. I'm just playing a small one. So here he goes with Caro. I'm like, okay, he goes Con Conquistador. Uh, he tributes them as both for Golden Lord. That's a very good play, actually. Tributes something both, but then he opts to set them because uh, DP could just attack it. Uh, so he sets it, and I can't really out the 2800 guys. So I go Axis Code, and I use Axis Code for cost to banish the skill drain. Before I, I use its effect for cost, he's going to Solemn Judgment to summon, which is totally fine. I have another big brain play here. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attack it. Sorry, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... I, I have so many plays to get rid of the skill drain. It's insane. Uh, and big brain plays. I curse Elan. Uh... Yeah, Curse Elan, add any Golden Land. Golden Lord from my hand, add it back to my hand. Effect from hand to send the Skill Drain to the graveyard. And just like that, we were 3 1. And with Skill Drain gone, I just DP, pop, attack for game. So, Cyber Cell, best deck, 3 1. Gotta win the next one to top. Let's go. Solid match there. Pen best deck. Oh, if we're not even playing Pen anymore. It's literally just like a part of me now that just accidentally say it. Cyber Cell, best deck with hand traps with Cybers and DP and Scythe and Souls. Best deck. It doesn't sound the same. There's not a single card? Ten best is a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle, exactly. Thank you, Ryan, exactly. Oh, MILF, man, I love Flunder. What the? So I never caught on that he said MILF, man, I love Flunder. And for some weird, very odd reason, this makes me like Flunder a little bit more. You guys want to see the behind the scenes of Game Nation? A lot of stuff go down behind the scenes here. There's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards here. There is a wild Sosa that plays a lot of computer games. What's up? What are you playing, bro? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the greatest Gatorade of all time. I will not hear it. There's not not blue, not red, not green. This is the greatest Gatorade of all time. It's bar none. Gatorade not even close. So it doesn't pay you, bro. It doesn't pay you. Shut up, Gatorade. <laughs> I don't care. It doesn't pay me. This is the money. greatest. This is the greatest drink of all time. G sauce has stood the test of time. Let's go. Victor literally plays a new deck every week. Don't go with that deck. First DD, every uh, seven different decks. I'll come earlier then. Yeah. Are you the supplier of Victor's decks? Yes. Victor, you have a great friend. I, I gave him my deck. He doesn't even play. What? I have all this. I'm telling you, bro. Just get the brave stuff, scrap the traps, and play the best deck with me. Yo, honestly, the brave stuff. So You're rid. Last round. Now we are facing off against DDs against my boy Mark. Uh, against DDs, you just need to hand trap the Gilgamesh, bro. You hand trap the Gilgamesh, and they are fucked. So we got we, we put 18 hand traps. We just need to see one here, and we're good on the Gilgamesh specifically, and we're lit. Uh, we're gonna draw. He ends up winning the dice roll. Of course, we we won like no dice rolls all fucking game, but and whatever, all all day. Uh, he summons uh, these out. Gilgamesh, I impermit, but he uses cross out designator on the imperm. I ash the contra the uh, Copernicus send, and sadly that was game. Fuck, man. Cross out designator. He's playing a 47 card deck with call by and triple cross out to make sure his Gilgamesh actually resolves, which is understandable because Gilgamesh, uh, if that stopped, the deck passes. So sadly, despite losing the dice roll there, we did not be victorious. We're going to go on to game number two over here. Uh, it's all good. You know, his deck cannot play around Scythe, so it's fine. We're just going to Scythe him, and we're still going to have hand traps if he has a fuck ton of hand traps to stop us. This I do really love our matchup against every single combo deck this format. Uh, it so we're gonna go Aquamancer here, Right of Aramisier. Uh, we're gonna set up uh, Right of Aramisier here uh, with the token and Griffin, so our plays would be safe. Uh, we go Chris Elland, 
had our plays would be safer. We had a fucking play, which we don't. <laughs> we drew two Eldritch cards. This makes me think I don't want to even use them. Imperm Gamma. I kind of misplayed because I opted to negate the Imperm with my girlfriend to put it back to my deck to summon the next turn. But with Gamma, it's gone and it gives him a tuner and a level six to make rank six with. Like, fuck, man. And I literally have Scythe and two Golden Lens set. Like, bro, I have Scythe in my hand, two Golden Lens set. Bro, like. I have one Imperm and one Golden Land. That's what I have. And because we, we gave him access to the Gamma, he was able to... I have Imperm. I would have Imperm the Gilgamesh. All this would have gone. I have one Imperm, one Conquistor, and one Scythe in my hand. Like, bro. Like, this is actually so unfortunate, man. I'm starting to think the Selage Engine it just this is not really helpful. Uh, I don't know. Again, at the same time, this is our first time playing with this deck. So in the future, this could uh, be diff different a little bit. And funny enough, I can actually break this full board. I literally just need Verte. So I just need to make sure that he, he does 2,100 damage at the end to make sure we're, we're safe uh, to that regard. Uh, summons these out. And the rank six that he brings out with the, the DDs, they have the capability to uh, negate any trap that gets summoned like Conquistador. So I'm forced to use Conquistador before that rank six comes out. Uh, and he just ends up into battle and he attacks, attacks. He opts not to negate it with Siegfried, which is good. He negates the close spell to, to get rid of the battle card. My turn. I'm at like 1400 life points, sadly. Yeah, and I won't be able to Verte, uh, which is very unfortunate. Uh, I believe I drew a starter now, which is fucking annoying. I don't even know if I drew a starter, but yeah, this is very unlucky. We're going to, of course, I want to add, add Golden Land. He's Golden Land effect to send, and I'm able to clear his whole board very easily. But fuck, if I only just had 2000 life points, bro, that, that, that's literally all I was missing because we would have DP for his turn and we would have win. But you know what? That's Yu Gi Oh for you. We summon out Golden Lord. Um, that's a huge thing with this deck. If you're down turn two or three and you didn't put up Verte yet, make sure at all costs. I could have protected by imperming the Siegfried to pop the equip spell. I would have been well over 2,000. Man, it's, it's our it's our error. And then there's just there's nothing we can do here. And uh, we just went, we lose. We lose, sadly. All we need to do is 2,000 light points. Let that be a lesson. Let my mistake be your guys' lesson, guys. Going second with this deck, make sure that 2,000, any Verte deck. X2, sadly, but it's all good. Kind of deck. Guys, we lost the last round. It's okay. Uh, as a wise man says, there's no such thing as mistakes, only lessons. Steven Trifonoski. You must respect Gamma a little bit, post side, like post side deck for sure. Uh, so I'm going to respect him moving forward. It is a card that should be respected in this format. It's, it's everywhere. Man, it's disappointing. Our first tournament with this deck, we end up losing. It's fine. Uh, the lessons learned in it, they're, they're, it's not huge. Like There wasn't huge misplays, but a minor one, like playing at the Gamma. We should respect Gamma not to play into it. And something else we need to do as well is we need to recognize that if you don't make Verte and Con to turn one, for a turn two, three, and four, to always be at 2,100 life points to resolve Verte. In the turn two, when I was clearing his board, I, I needed 2,000 life points to resolve Verte, and the board was gone. We had DPE Scythe. His whole field was gone. So, fuck. That's like a huge thing that we need to, to, to be aware of. Because now we know the next tournament, when we do play perfect, we need to get it perfect because we're going to play this deck at YCS Charlotte. So I, I got it perfected by then. That's that. Now, this fatty's eating some McDonald's. <laughs> Here these. Florian, what happened to Taco Bell? Man, you failed me. What the heck? You failed me. You're supposed to be my good luck, Trump. This is your fault. We whooped Italy's ass. Yeah, we, it's your fault. He's supposed to be my good luck charm. He came last time at 5 He came today. He came in saying, like, yo, Macedonia, Macedonia. And I'm like, Albania, Albania. And we ended up losing. He didn't have a single pendulum card. If you had even <laughs> one in the deck, you would have won. I hear nothing but facts. This is true. <laughs> How many cards is this? No. 47. 47, DD. I'm out. Man, did you recover? This deck yeah. ass. We just lost to this shit. That's amazing. Yo, you pulled ulti? Yeah, I did. Ah, oh, knock. The real winner of today. The actual winner of today, Bible. Yeah. Let's go, right? Ended up X2. It's all good. It's all good. Like I said, the most important thing you got to take away from our locals is this. All right. Did you win? Yes or no? If it's yes, okay, you're Triff Gaming. If it's no, then it's all good. Figure out why you lost. Is your deck ass? Did you make... Are you ass? Do you like ass? You know, you got to figure out what... Oh, yo, later. You had a... Did you have a ride? You sure? Yeah. I can drop it off if you want. Okay. Yeah, Ryan is chilling. We found a wild Ryan. <laughs> yeah, Ryan's a good dude. Uh, he, he beat us round one, but we couldn't win that. So like I said, as I was going back, you got to figure out. Is your deck ass? Are you ass? Or do you like ass? Or is it a combination of all three? 
So I found out today that it was a combination of the third option and the second option. My deck was amazing, but I played ass. Uh, like, okay, who's really playing around? Like, who's really playing around Gamma and going second? I should have the foresight being the best player in the universe. And outside of this universe, I'm better than Thor. I'm better than Loki. I'm just the greatest Yuga player ever in all time history. So I should have realized that I didn't activate any monster effects. There's a high chance he has Gamma in his deck. I, even, I know Mark. Mark's my boy that I dueled. I've witnessed... Yo, it's going to walk, dude. It's beautiful out. I've witnessed Gamma in his deck before. So I should have known. So make sure, especially at your own locals, when you know who you're playing against, you have to make sure that to play around Gamma. It's very important. Play around Imperm as well. Stuff like that. Play around stuff that are very basic to play around that you just know your opponent will have and what you could possibly lose to. We played around the Gamma. We won the game. Very simple. If Griffin stayed on the field as well, Verde would have had 2,000 defense. Round one when I lost against Ryan. I had to make him go first. So if I went first game three, we were lit. We we're good. We were so good. And that's that. You know, actually, I'm supposed to go to a strip club with some of my boys right now. Also, I'm supposed to go to a bar with one of my other friends. But I told them, listen, guys, I'm just trying to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm just trying to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm not really trying to play, go to no strip club. But you know what? I already had the sickest night. Because I get to make a vlog for literally my homies, for uh, 10,000 of my homies right now. I fucking love you guys. This would not be possible without you guys. I am. Yo, later, bro. You can see wild Yu Gi Oh plays everywhere. I love you guys. It wouldn't be possible without you guys. Vlogs every single day. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Every single day, bro. Every single day. Vlogs every single day. It's the only content we're moving forward. I stopped streaming to do this. I want to make sure to put content for you guys every single day. And I will. I told you guys earlier in the video. I'm gonna tell you guys now, I'm gonna tell you guys every other time. I do this because I fucking love you guys. The comments I get from you guys warm my heart. Uh, I love doing this, it makes me so happy. And to see you guys happy with uh, uh, Locals vlogs, it, it makes my day, dude. I will literally so smile watching my video after I finish, just reading the comments. The comments will be amazing, just be a bunch of Panda Stack on goals. Are you guys saying, man, I love watching your video trips, it makes me kind of uplifting. Like it uplifts me for the day. It make, someone's like, yo, I, yo, Trip, this is uh, the best, yes, Trip's video's out, my pre-workout. Like, yo, that fucking warms my heart, bro. I fucking love the comments. And I love you guys. So I'm gonna enjoy the video. See you guys tomorrow. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. And we'll see you guys tomorrow's vlog. Tomorrow's Saturday. I don't know when it'll be posted, but Saturday locals are always the best locals. So I'm fucking excited. See you guys then. Later guys. Peace.